Hello everybody, this is Stringing Me Back for a tournament video that I didn't expect to do because I'm sure as you noticed with the conclusion of the group stage, we have a little bit of a situation with some of the fourth place teams, four of which were finished level on eight points with identical records. The only way I could truly separate them is to have them all play off against each other and the winner out of those foursome will be the last fourth place guy that goes through. So just, just a quick refresher as to all the fourth place teams that are in it. So obviously we have Pilk, Random Shy Ghost, Moors and Random Guy 86. All, all of these four are already safely through as one of the best fourth place teams. But then we have a tie for the fifth spot between these four, Danix Tactile, The Thunderstorm, Alpha Trooper and Dino Nerd. Only one of these four will join this lot in the last 32. And then after we do all these playoff matches, I will then randomly assign you guys into your respective matchups. We continue. I should say that Moors will not be going up here because you're not allowed to play someone in that was in the same group as you during this during this round. So Moors cannot go here, but she can go anywhere else. Right. Without further ado, time to sort the naughty tots out, which is these four because they're naughty. Because I'm not because I have to do another video now just to get just to put one of these through. And the matchups will be randomly drawn here. So let's find out who will play who. And I hope this works. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'll do round one. So it will be the Thunderstorm going up against Danix Tactile. And then Alpha Trooper versus Dino Nerd. And the winner of these of their respective matches will play each other. And then the winner of that match will go through to the last 32. Comprende? Right, let's get on with the first matchup then, which is the Thunderstorm against Danix Tactile. Right, Theo then, in the red corner, for the Thunderstorm, we have Pentaceratops. Oh, it's, it's, it's basically knockout ma match. If you win, you get to go through to the, to the final round where you have to win again. If you lose, you get knocked out. In the blue corner, for Danix Tactile, it is an Uru Titan. I don't know, I'm going to do the thumbnail for this. <laughs> I mean, I can't exactly show the playoff final match in the thumbnail, can I? Because I'll spoil the video. But I'll think of something. It's, a no it's an inconvenience that these four naughty tots got to finish on the same amount of points. If I if I had my way, I would kick all four of them out. And then put someone else through instead. <laughs> uh, I can't do that gotta be fair and yeah this is the only way I could give all four of them a fair chance well it's a good start from the thunderstorm getting off that crit the thunderstorm got the crucial win against G against gecko to give the give themselves this chance of course to be honest I wish gecko had won instead and I wish Alpha Trooper had beaten Jin Dominus now. Then we'd have two naughty tots out of the way. And well, Dino Nerd was on eight points anyway, so that don't really matter. But no, and and, and I wish Danix Tackle had got at least a losing bonus point, but they're themselves through. Then would have would have been all sorted out then. But no, you will have to be awkward. You're just as bad as the naughty toddlers. <laughs> oh, terrible. But Danix Tactile coming back. Well, I'm making you do it the hard way. So, so suck it. <laughs> Ooh. I think it's Danix Tactile that's going to have the 1-0 lead. Big for Assault incoming. Oh, well, Pentaceratops is dead. Right, the OM. As for the Thunderstorm second Dino, it is the Mega Raptor. I just realised I need to up my volume a bit. Can this Mega Raptor turn the match around for Thunderstorm? Hmm. Might be a problem, though, with uh, Danix Tactile second Dino, which is a Fire Dino. 
and has been quite an effective dino for Danix Tactile. So I feel like Danix Tactile might edge this match out. Ooh, but we were taking getting cheeky little hits there. Oh yeah, the Mayfly isn't triggered, so normal damage will be dealt. But that's all the damage Uluru Titan will be dealing. The Mega Raptor getting off the power drain, and even in the score. You know what? As punishment for for, for these naughty tots, I'm going to delay the start of the last 32 round. Ha! Yeah, get my payback. I won't do that. <laughs> Right, as for Danex Tactile's second die, no, it is a Yangchungosaurus. Dun, dun, dun. Of course, to be, I don't know when I'm going to post this. It's, it'll probably go up after Christmas. When that, like, week where you've got to wait for the new year and you're like, Ugh, can, can the Christmas be over already? We've already had Christmas Day and Boxing Day. That's what it feels like to me to a degree. It's like, they should just cut that week out. And then just have New Year and then pow, everything back to normal. <laughs> uh, right, um, rock of course. Because of the crit block. Oh, and it's the Yangchung as always getting the hit. Turning the screw for Danex Tactile. Oh, another hit. And another crit block. Danex Tactile looking really good so far. Of course, even if he wins this match, he got to win the next one as well to get through. But so far, Danix Tactile is winning this match. The thunderstorm not looking good, and on the brink of elimination. As for their third dino, it is Nodosaurus. No, oh, my drink is empty, but I have my water instead. Mm. No, I dropped the snowman. Wherever it is. No. And I also got a Primal Carnage update to look forward to later. Well, hey. I don't know when I'm going to bloody post that thing. Because, you know, it's, it's the time of year, isn't it? I could have done it. I could have done it today. But the update didn't come out yesterday. Ooh, Nodosaurus getting a crit. Defense boost coming in. Thunderstorm striking back, not going down yet. Well, I don't know where my snowman has gone. <laughs> Probably died. Oh, and all of a sudden, the thunderstorm back in the mix. Danex Tactile not safe and dry yet. Boosh! Blip. Will we see Giga Rock Hammer? No. Ooh, the Yang Chungasaurus gets a crit block. Crit block coming, and because that crit is scissors, that means the Yang Chungasaurus will be going for that burning dash. Will he get it off? Nope. It's a tie, but the tie suits the Yang. Oh, he gets it off! Is that it for Thunderstorm? I think it is. I think that's going to be all she wrote for the Thunderstorm. Last time they were in my tournament, they got all the way to the final. But this time, it looks like it's going to be a group stage. Oh, it survived! Not yet! But Danex Tactile on the brink of winning. And yet, yeah, there it is. <laughs> and the tiebreakers to add insult to injury. Danex Tactile! Going through to the final round playoff. And the Thunderstorm eliminated from the tournament. Right then. Now it's time to find out who Danex Tactile will be playing in that next round. Will it be Dino Nerd or will it be Alpha Trooper? Let's find out. Right then, in the red corner for Dino Nerd, we have a Giganonosaurus. The Giganonosaurus here has been a bit mix mixed bag for Dino Nerd in this tournament so far. Will it help him defeat Alpha Trooper? We'll have to see. In the blue corner for Alpha Trooper is, well, Alpha Iguanodon. And this thing has been effective for Alpha Trooper. 
But it didn't didn't get going against Shin Dominus. If it had got going against Shin Dominus, then Alpha Trooper might already be safely through. Well, they would he would be safely through. But no, just had to be a naughty tot. And not get safely through. And stay on eight points. Well actually no, he's on seven and got a losing bonus point to put him in this situ in this position. Could have you could have not got the losing bonus point. Of course then again, I could have decided to be greedy and say no. You can't get a losing bonus point in the last round, but nope. I decided that. Oh, what a start from Alpha Trooper. Getting a big foot assault off straight away. Big damage coming Giga's way. Boom. Oh, look at that. Decent start from Alpha Trooper. Well, more than decent. That's exactly the start they would have wanted. Oh, another tie. Ooh, but the Giga gets the firebomb off. Recovery's gonna come. Dino Nerd turning it around. Well, striking back, I should say. Oh, oh, maybe he has turned it around. Oh, has turned it around, actually. The Giga in giving Dino Nerd the slight lead. Well, courtesy of recovery. And he's gonna be extending that lead. Another firebomb coming. But the Iguanodon just survives. Oh, well, it's not going to survive this tie. And Dino Nerd has the 1 0 lead. The winner of this matchup will play Danix Tactal in the playoff final for a place in the last 32. Right, as for Alpha Trooper second Dino, it is Baryonyx, the super duper Baryonyx. Awake the mode on 2. Dun 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 <sighs> Oh, it's a crimson flame! Up for Trooper in a bit of a pickle, yeah? Although this Baryonyx does have a tight advantage, but I don't think that applies when it comes to this move. Here comes the fire. Big damage coming Barry's way. Look at it, he's like, no, help, I yield. Okay, yeah, I don't think the type advantage applied there. Disadvantage, sorry. Well, advantage. Ooh, Ra Alpha Trooper getting a crucial hit and killing the Giga. Even in the school. As for Di right, as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, it is a Ulura Titan. This Ulura Titan has been pretty good for Dino Nerd in this tournament. We see, we've seen how effective it can be. Can Dino Nerd hold on to this lead to get the win, or will Alpha Trooper strike back? Remember, the Barry has the awaken mode, and that can help Alpha Trooper turn this match around. And I think he's going to need it. Well, here it comes. Can Alpha Trooper turn the match around with this Awaken mode? Oh, he can't! It's a power train! How costly could that be? Well, there goes the Super Barry. And it's a 2-1 lead for Dino Nerd. Well, Alpha Trooper in trouble now. Down to this Megalosaurus. But it's worse dinosaurs you can be down to. I will say that. Oh, it's a tie. But ties favour the Ulura Titan! Here comes the green impulse. Boosh! Boom! 
Yeah, I think I think Dino Nerd is gonna win this. Alpha Trooper can't get any hits. Dino Nerd completely on top. Actually, has Alpha Trooper even got a hit in this match? Oh yeah, of course he has. He got the crit with the Iguanodon, and I think that's it. Come on, Alpha Trooper. You're going out the tournament here with a whimper. Oh yeah, there it is. Another green impulse. And it's Tata to Alpha Trooper. Dino Nerd getting through to that playoff final. To have a face off with Danex Tactor. Boosh! Boosh! Well, that's all she wrote for Alpha Trooper. Eliminated in, in the tournament. And kind of going down with a bit of a whimper. Right, let's not dilly-dally. On to the playoff final. Now, this match will decide who goes through to the last 32 between Danex Tactile and Dino Nerd. Right then, in the red corner for Danex Tactile, we have Ulra Titan. And, well, don't need to go through the moveset since we've already seen these two in this video. So, as for Dino Nerd in the blue corner, it is the Giga. The winner of this match will go straight through to the last 32 round. The loser will be going home. Oh, it's a good start from Dino Nerd. It's a crit off the bat. Boom. Boosh. Yep, I got it. <laughs> Crimson Flame coming in here now. And this is going to be just the start Dino Nerd would have wanted. Wow, a lot of damage done. Ooh, but the Ulura Titan strikes back. Danex Tactical getting off the mark in terms of hits. Could have done with a Nature's Blessing there, but he didn't get it. Oh, that's a tie. Ties favour the Ulu Titan now. It does have the green impulse. Uber is the Giga getting the hit. Is it enough for Lethal? No, it is not. Ooh, Danix Tactical striking back. Back and forth match so far. Here comes the Nature's Blessing. An even start. Well, pretty much an even start. But it's going to be Dino Nerd in the lead. 1-0 up, the Ulura Titan going down, and the Giga looking pretty solid. However, as for Danex Tactile's second Dino, it is Yangchungosaurus. And this Yangchungosaurus, I'd probably say, has been the most impressive asset for Danex Tactile's team. If Dino Nerd can get past this guy, then I'd say he's definitely on, but then he's got Bronthakins to deal with as well, so... There's the tie. That'll trigger the burning dash. Oh, but it's a crimson flame! Dino Nerds extending his lead. Oh, that was an easy one. Rock, paper, scissors. Why can't you all be like that? Yep, yeah, there it is. The lead is going to be extending. And Danex Tactile might be in a bit of a pickup. Okay, that's a tie. Can the Yangchungosaurus finish the Giga off? It can't! It's a 2-0 lead for Dino Nerd. Dino Nerd looking good for to go through here. Danex Tactile not looking good. However, we do not count Danex Tactile out yet. Because they have Bronthakins. And this Bronthakins, well... People are finally starting to learn how powerful it really is. Put it that way. So do not count Danex Tackle out yet. Well, it's got a firebomb, but it's going to need quite a lot of those to kill this Bronthakins. The 
Yeah, look at that. Not much damage dealt at all. And down goes the Giga. But for the first time in this tournament, it actually did pretty well. Danex Tactical pulling it back, and all the more while, that bar is filling up. Right, as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, it is an Ulura Titan. And well, this Ulura Titan is very effective against Alpha Trooper. Will it be effective again? Well, it gets the first hit. Yeah, I, th I think Dino Nerd is going to go through you. Brontekins, if Brontekin starts getting hit, then I would probably say Danex Tactile will go through, but it just can't get hit. Aqua Vortex will help? Oh, well, it got off a Hydro Cutter. Hydro Cutter, it's most, well, it is its most powerful move because the crit is Aqua Vortex. So yeah, Hydro Cutter will, is actually its most effective move, I should say. Ooh, here's the hit throw from the Ulura Titan. But an Aqua Vortex has been triggered, so that will help Danex Tactum. There's the Aqua Vortex. Ulura Titan can say bye bye to its moves. Yeah, but then Aqua Vortex would be broken if it actually removed all the moves. Then you basically get a free hit, and that would be a bit too broken. Especially since he would just go for a crit and insta-kill things. Oh, it's a tie. Ooh, it's ocean panic time. Brontekin's bringing it back for Danex Tactile. Ulura Titan going down. Okay then, as for Danex, as for Dino Nerd's third Dino, it is Super Duper Fairy. I... I doubt we'll see the Awaken mode, to be honest, because if all this fairy needs is a hit, then Dino Nerd will go through. And I suspect all Brontekins would need is three hits. And Dino Danix Tactile will go through. Well, actually, you'll get Spectral Armor by then, so... Yeah. Don't think we'll see the Awaken mode. But you never know. Oh, there's a tie! Oh, Dino Nerd getting in there! Snatching the win! Well, not really snatching it, but getting the job done! So after all that, it is Dino Nerd that will be going through to the last 32. Well, we might as well let our run, it doesn't matter now, because we won't need it. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all our combatants through to the last 32. And it is Dino Nerd who sneaks through with the skin of his chinny chin chin. But now we have the dilemma of grouping all these guys into their respective matchups. So I should also point out that Dino Nerd cannot go into this matchup against Diddy Darius because they were in the same group. So this will be randomly generated. So Pilk will be number one. Shy Ghost will be number two. Moors will be... Actually no, Shy Guy will be number three. And then Maws will be number four. And then Dino Nerd will be number five. All these guys will be numbered. So one to five. So Pilk is one. And then Dino Nerd is five. Two, three, and four. And we will start with this matchup. Working down to here. So, Diddy Darius, your opponent will be... Well, it can't be Dino Nerd, as I said. Because they're in the same group. So we have to do that again. Number three. So it'll be... Diddy Darius going up against Random Shy Guy. No, yeah, uh, is Random Shy Guy and Random Shy Ghost in, in, this, in the same group? Alright, they're both Naughty Tots for having the same name. Basically having the same name. So it is Diddy Darius taking on Random Guy 86. And that will be our first matchup in this last 32 round. Right, on to this matchup. So as I said earlier, Moors will be exempt from this one because she she's in, was in the same group as Marissa. Number two, so that is the other random guy, the random shy ghost. So we have Marissa Kirisame going up against random shy ghost. Right, as for this one, we'll have Lauren Steele and her opponent shall be... Ah, is she going up against Moors? Right, as for these two now, time to find out Gozzi's opponent. 
And it will be LP Gauzy going up against Dino Nerd. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how our last 32 round will look. Some intriguing matches to look forward to here. Um, well... This one's probably kind of a pick out for me. Crown over going up against Ultima Dino King. Obviously me taking on Dark Ash style. But the prospect of meeting Ultima Dino Queen in the last 16 as well. That could be an interesting match. So yeah, a lot of interesting matches here. Um, well, from my perspective, I'm quite happy with my bracket. I think, obviously, that if I can get past, somehow get past Dark Ashtar, I probably would rather take my chances against Jonas than Ultima Dino Queen. So out of this lot, I would probably say Ultima Dino Queen is the biggest threat. As, as Toka, Dark Ashtar. Actually, it's quite a tough bracket. And did, oh yeah, Diddy Darius as well, so... Quite a competitive bracket up here. And then over here, a lot more open. You obviously have Hedy. Well, I'd probably say Lauren and Hedy will probably be the two biggest threats in this group. In this category up here. Alongside Adolf Adams, maybe. Seven shots. Of course, one of these two will get knocked out anyway. So, yeah. So, could be, could be an in intriguing bracket. An open bracket. And then down here, well, Gozzi's probably the well, Laos, obviously, the heaviest hitter down here. Nopi winning their group as well, doing well. And then LP Gozzi doing well in the tournament. So, could be, an, again, another interesting section down here. And then the last bracket, which could be really intriguing, because you have Ghidorah over here. And we have Cryon over and Ultima Dino King and Shin Dominus. Four wins in a row for them. Looking very, very strong. As I, as I, I predicted Shin Dominus would do well in this tournament, and they have. So yeah, which matchup are you looking forward to in the last 32 round? Leave a comment down below and are you happy with your matchup? If you are, well, good for you. And as for the peeps that almost made it through but didn't, unlucky. But at least you gave yourselves a fighting chance. Right then, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a happy new year and all. Because this will probably be put up after Christmas. And yeah. Until the last 32 round, this is Rainy Gamer, signing out.